and made it through customs. And now we've got Echo Fox and GGA Blue duking it out on London Docks. We see Facento going to be the last player left alive for the side of Echo Fox right now. Bomb is going to be down the sticky situation. It's all the way over there towards Cole. You see the look at the mini map, the spread of where all the players are going to be. Two in Docks Warehouse, one all the way back towards the double decker bus, and then one currently sitting inside a barrel building. So Facento trying to pull off the impossible here. The players are so spread out, it's going to be almost impossible to string together the four kills that he would need to clutch up in this one. But he's going to start things off there. We're getting the kill on Stamino. So maybe just trying to get some kills here, just trying to play through those streaks, but Facento at this point really has nothing to lose. It's going to be GGA Blue round one. Yeah, he's got a little bit of utility to work with as a smoke grenade for a little bit of tricksy magic, but again, nothing too exciting to play with there. The bomb's on the other side of the map. He's got nine seconds to make his way over there, and I don't think he can bend space and time. So he's going to have to do with maybe a kill or two. Oh, lovely shot through the wall there on fast forward. That's a wonderful way to end this round, and that is not a bad result for Facento. He keeps his life, he keeps his streaks, and it may be a round loss, but in the long run, it may come back to win it for him. Yeah, we'll see how GGA Blue is going to continue that momentum, what they picked up there. Obviously, we didn't get to see the start. We didn't get to see what the picks were, the initial setups for this side. So now, heading straight into this one, GGA Blue will be on the offensive. Bomb care is going to be stamina of this team. Smoke is going to be over there towards the cross. The players getting their position against the side A. Now Johnny is going to find himself weak, but Facento is going to draw first blood there on agility. Another one's coming in. That's going to be from Fastball. Fastball is going to go for the dive. Doesn't get the kill. Aqua cleans that one up easily. Oh man, you got to love the fact that they took care of Facento. That shuts down the streaks entirely. And Stamino, he definitely caught a glimpse of that player behind him. And now, with the bomb going down, it's a 2v2 situation. Oh, Johnny caught. Oh, he's not hands down, but he turns on Assault. You love to see it. And now Saint will tie things up in a 1v1. 40 seconds left on the clock. And round two has been full of drama. Saint is getting very, very aggressive here, trying to catch Johnny from behind. Good trigger discipline coming from him. And now he's going to fire the shot. Saint clutches up. Going to get the defuse there as well while picking up two kills in that round. So Echo Fox is going to tie this one up, one apiece. There was a moment there where you said, good trigger discipline. I was like, oh, if, if he gets past that, it's going to be the end for him. It's the second turn in a round, just maybe. Well, here's a quick replay of that last round. Saints getting the first kill there. This was playing just fantastic discipline there to take care of Johnny and secure the round for them. Again, Facento's streaks were cut dead there. So Echo Fox is not going to be reaping that one just later on. But again, still things looking at them as they tie things up in theory. Knuckle getting into position to try to throw that grenade over towards B, and it's going to be GGA Blue establishing that map presence, getting straight up onto B, but Saints is going to make him pay. So make that three kills in a row for him as well. Assault's going to be inside here with the SCG. He will be pushed through barrels. Going to between find himself full red, but now the player comes through. Fastball is going to be able to find two kills to his name, but now the bomb is going to be down in towards barrels. The players from GGA Blue, they're going all the way back through the middle map to get inside of fire. So now you have Saint Facento trying to take out three players from GGA Blue completely different setups right now. We're watching Saints, he's completely alone at A, uh, sorry, B, and the other side of the board is Facento, who's watching the back A. The bomb is still down, which is fantastic. Really smart, we like to see that, but everybody on GGEA Blue are roaming together. They're a pack of players at this point. They're all watching each corner, they're watching each other's back, so they're playing the numbers. If you kill one, you're gonna have to fight the rest of them in the same engagement. 35 seconds left, wonderful start, fast ball that goes down, Facento on the turn. He's got a PPSH now in hand. He's hoping for that close range engagement. Man, he is buzzing right now. It's now a 2v2. That quick scope has tied things up. 22 seconds left. You just see the peak out come once more. Facento trying to bait out the shots. Get some shots in towards mid cut. Saints is going to be there to clean up that kill. Stamino trades that one out efficiently. So now it's a one versus one. Facento, Stamino, 10 seconds on the clock. Needs to make a decision. Playing over towards this bomb. Stamino's just going to wait this one out. But now the bomb is going to be going down there for Facento. Stamino not going to go ahead and push this one just yet, but now the clock is ticking. It is going against GGEA Blue. Facento knows the positioning. He's just going to go here, position himself towards a blue van. Oh, what a plot twist this is. Stamino versus Facento 1v1. Facento has a snipe in his hand as well, and oh my goodness, the ring around the Rosies. Facento has caught whiff of something Stamino knows. He knows he's watching him. He just can't tell where from. 20 seconds left on the bomb, somebody's got to make a play, and here it comes. Facento gets the first bullet in around the other side. He's done in for six, and that's it. Ring around the Rosies. What a round there from the boys on Echo Fox. Yeah, we've seen what Facento's been able to do in the past as well in Search and Destroy. A, a great all-around player with that sniper in his hand as well, and you see it right here. Gets a few shots, runs away. Stamino was trying to think, okay, he's going to come back to challenge around there, but like we said, those 1v1s, it comes down to throwing off your opponent, throwing that curve on him. It's exactly what he did there. Echo Fox get themselves another round on the board. Pretty crafty, pretty nimble. Echo Fox now up by one round. Round four, GGEA blue on offense. Stamino is going to be a bomb carrier. 
both so far both teams, uh, Supreme Agility and Assault for GGA Blue and Echo Fox, respectively, have no kills. Definitely don't. Something to add on. You're seeing a lot of players starting to run armored and search and destroy now, but first blood is going to go there immediately. Trade it out. Assault's going to find a second. Trade's going back and forth, but it's going to be Echo Fox coming on the top. Now, Stamino making good positioning behind. He's able to find Vicento, so another one versus one with Stamino, but this time he is going up against Aqua. He spotted him over towards that mid-cut. He does jump down. Half the shots coming in from behind. Shaky shots. Aqua almost gets the turn. Is going to be one shot. And now Aqua needs to try to play his range here. 45 seconds on the clock. Oh, it's another 1v1. And both teams, both players are missing shots on each other. But in the end, Echo Fox just able to make it work. And my goodness, that makes you think he had the chance there. I mean, Aqua got the kill in the end. And Stamino, he was one bullet away from winning that round. And in the end, boy, that really bit him in the ass. A lot of confidence going out there with the machine pistol to challenge that PPSH, but then again, it's another great 1v1 coming on, and Samino finds himself last alive two rounds in a row. Score currently sitting at 3 to 1. So you see, see what they go with here for Sento once more. He's going to have that car 98k to watch a crossover to Hay. He's going to get the call out, misses the shot, but knows that agility is going to be over there. Might be able to spot Stamino with his head poking up, but Echo Fox playing a delayed push here. The bomb starting to wrap around to B. Yeah, for Sento, he's seen enough. He's decided to move out now. Six and two for him. This is Assault making his way through middle. You can hear those shots ringing off of the drums next to him. He knows those players are nearby. Shots are out. Fastball, they've got two. So now Echo Fox tie things up from Saints with a two-piece of his own. And now we're down to a 2v2. This is Saints trying to make his way forward. The bomb carrier has been dropped, but you can see there's a push from behind for Sento on the turn. Almost managing to make it work. And a second chance denied. Saints, last player alive for Echo Fox. And he's got to grab bomb. And he's got to take on two members of GGA Blue. He's got two PPSHs, just in case one gets low, he can pull out the other one. 40 seconds left, looks like Saints is going to go for the wraparound here, it's going to spot one player inside of barrels. Somehow gets away with his life for the time being, but now they do have to call it, the collapse is starting to come in here for GGA Blue. Stamino is going to come around the corner, Saints was still regening his health, but they were able to take him out, so a nice round win coming here from GGA Blue. Well, Stamina, we'll see that shot in. this is that STG, I mean, it's just lethal at range, so accurate, barely any recall, three shots, immediately drops him, and there was Supreme Agility, just in case he needed to pick up the pieces. Good execution there from what was quite a frantic, scrappy round. GGK Blue, not out of this one just yet. See what the plan of attack is going to be here on offense. I know that GGA Blifter is a team that's going to have a little bit of tricks up their sleeve. It is going to be Demba. First Blood once more going to the side of Echo Fox. It's going to be a team kill coming in there. Johnny takes out Fast Follow, and Stamino is going to fall in middle map. And just like that, a quick search and destroy round. Big help coming from the team kill there by Johnny. What? Why did that happen? Can we get a replay? Why did that happen? In what universe was that okay? All right, well, look, now we're tied up, right? Oh, no, no, this is now Echo Fox way in the lead. Like, they got two rounds ahead of them now. Well, hey, man. A thank you is in order, I think. <laughs> kind of, it gave him a little bit of gift raptor, probably one of the quickest rounds that we'll see in Search and Destroy in this event as well. But now Echo Fox, they're just two rounds away from taking this Search and Destroy. As we see, once more, going to be one player getting very aggressive in the middle map. Agility is going to be able to get the better of Facento in that sniper battle. Saints is going to be able to trade out that kill straight away. So Echo Fox favoring this B site more than A. They're going back to back to back over towards here. And now it's going to be Aqua. With this bar in hand, trying to play his range, there's going to be somebody right around the corner here towards the mid-cut. Agility's in a sticky situation. The team fire comes in. Aqua takes him out. Now they know where Stamino is. They get the kill. Echo Fox, one round away from the win. Saints was one kill away from the full ace there. I mean, that was a ridiculous round from him. First two kills, easy peasy. He got an assist on the final player at the end, and then this was him. Again, almost entirely off of the back of an incredibly aggressive play from Saints. Wonderful work from him. And that's going to be map point for Echo Fox. There's a man on your screen. That's Saints. See, if I would, if I had just got around like that, I'd be like, my control would be on the floor, my headset would be off the ground, I'd be like, I'm the best, baby! But that is the difference between a caster and a true professional. That is true. There's a reason you're behind the desk two miles. Don't worry, I am. We're, we're not in that position. But, like we said, one round away from closing this one out. GGA Blue, I think desperate here, favoring over towards this A side. It's gonna be somebody in the lower docks. Aqua catches him off guard. They're gonna be able to get the kill, but they do lose fastball in that process. Facento also gets a trade, so now it's a two versus two. Johnny and Stamino are right next to each other, so they can try to play the trades here. One player is gonna be right on the other side of the docks warehouse. That is going to be Facento. As you can see, some gunfights going down here. Stamino gonna be playing on lower docks. Saints is getting the full read on this one. Saints gets the first shot. Stamino turns and gets the kill on him. Now Facento on the hunt for Johnny. Oh, it's so important to have got that kill on Saints again. You shut down one of the biggest killers on the team, and Facento may have just walked into a Christmas present, and he's going to unwrap his gift a little bit later on than anticipated. Oh, he's been gifted both of them. Can he find stamina on the return? What, what a play!
Facento! What a great just all-around play. And that's what we said, why like, Facento is such a great search and destroy player, knowing not to shoot that shot, waiting to see what the player is gonna be. You can see it right here. He watches Stamino jumps up. The player's playing on the chest high cover with Johnny. Stamino jumps down to challenge with the FG. Still a three-shot kill and might have had a little bit of tuning done to it, but what a superb play coming from him. Facento is just a beast.